If you're a subscriber to this channel, it's highly likely you're similar to me. You're into cycling, into technology, you wanna know what's new, and you are impatient. If you're not a subscriber and you tick all those boxes, you know what to do below. Speaking of what's new, the Garmin Edge 530 and the Edge 830 were released a few months back, and this is what's new for Garmin. They also promised us, though, something new for something that's a little older, the Edge 1030. Well, there is a beta firmware update out for this, which adds a few of these features into here that we'll run through today. So on today's menu are four items. First up, the pros and cons of using public beta firmware, how to find that public beta firmware for your Garmin devices, specifically wearables and cycling, how to get the beta firmware installed, and lastly, the roll back or roll forward, the latest public release. Digging into point number one, the pros and cons of using public beta firmware. First up, you'll get cutting edge feature sets, which is pretty cool. So for the example that I'm running through today is the 1030, which the public beta now has Climb Pro. It has the grit and flow and jump time or hang time for those mountain bikers out there. It has some pretty cool feature sets that aren't in the public release. Public betas are typically stable enough for everyday use. It's the alphas or the private betas you want to steer clear of because they're usually the ones that the company wants to test themselves because they're not quite good enough to release out there in public. These ones are out there for everyone to use if you choose, so usually they're good to go. These updates typically include a number of other bug fixes as well that I call that are ahead of the curve. So there's a lot of, oh, there's thousands, sometimes hundreds of thousands of things that can go wrong with these units and firmwares. And there's sometimes hundreds of fixes, including these, which aren't listed in the full change log. So you'll get a ton of other edge case fixes as well. Your usage and feedback contributes to better products. This is very important. If you've got verbose logging on, you're submitting logs through to the company, they'll end up making better products. We're quick to jump on keyboards and complain in forums that don't really matter. This is a direct line to the companies to make better things. I think it's a good thing. A lot of beta firmware becomes final with just a version number increment. So a lot of the times you'll be installing stuff that's gonna be installed by everyone in a few weeks time anyway. And one thing we can't ignore is coffee shop bragging rights. Yes, you will be able to rock up with your 1030 and have Climb Pro, like all your friends, with these newer units and all your mountain bike metrics, etc. That is until your friend with an element bolt rocks up with the latest beta firmware. Oh, no, we can't talk about that yet. Over to the cons and the downsides of using public beta firmware. First up, installation isn't as easy as normal firmware, but it's not too hard. It can be buggy, it's beta after all, although my experience has been pretty good over the years. And the biggest deterrent to steer clear from public beta firmware is the support channels change. You're not gonna be able to call Garmin on the phone and say, hey, my Climb Pro beta is not working at my 1030. They're gonna tell you to roll back and call again. And Climb Pro doesn't exist at the moment on this in the public stream. So you'll need to use the email address supplied in the details of the public beta. Rolling into chapter two of this video, how to find public beta firmware for your Garmin devices. Well, the official updates and downloads page will only show public releases, so they don't have all that cutting edge stuff there. If you were to jump on Google and search for something like Garmin Edge 1030 forums, you'll hit this site here and note the pin post will take you to all the details, which looks just like a standard firmware changelog, but from the future. Diving into today's example of the 1030 update, you can see there there is an absolute stack load of stuff. So we have uh, the acclimation there, the heat and altitude acclimation. We have Climb Pro, we have nutrition and hydration stuff there. We have bike theft alarm, find my edge, grit and flow, jump metrics, etc., etc., etc. We have a ton of stuff there that people have been asking for for this unit available right now to test out. Chapter three, downloading and installing this public beta firmware for your Garmin device. This is the same across all Edge units and watches too. So first of all, download the zip file package from the Garmin beta forum website, unzip those files, connect a micro USB cable or your, whichever cable works for those things, whatever they're called, it's USB at one end anyway. Make sure that's in USB storage mode, and then you need to drag and drop the gupdate.gcd file into the Garmin folder, wait for it to copy over, disconnect, install the update and you are done. From there, go forth, set things up, check out the new features and right on. Finally, chapter four, rolling back if you encounter issues or rolling forward to a new public release that is beyond the version of the beta that you've installed. Well, if you wanna roll back to the previous release, Garmin are pretty handy by including that previous firmware in the package you've already downloaded for the public beta. So you'll need to grab the file called typically GP update dash firmware version and drop that into the slash Garmin folder and then rename that to gupdate.gcd. Disconnect your device, do a reboot, and then you go. 
it will then install the older version. Do note, if you're reverting to an older version of the firmware, your settings will be blatted. The reason for that is a lot of the configurations have been updated with the newer firmware. There'll be other initialization strings, settings, things in the configuration that don't apply to older firmware, so they need to be blatted and started from scratch. So RIP to your settings. Rolling up to the latest public release firmware versions when they do finally arrive is simple. You don't need to do anything. They'll come down over the air, you'll be prompted to install, and away you go. So for example, today uh, we have 7.85 on the 1030, let's just say tomorrow or the next day 7.9 comes out, it will just install like anything else and we'll be up to date. So there we are, everything you need to know about running public beta firmware on Garmin devices. Today we've used the 1030, but it applies to everything else out there as well. So if you're a nerd like me and get excited over firmware updates, which can squeeze a little bit more life out of this or add some extra funk to these newer units, go for your life. It's not gonna be for everyone, but as I said, I do like a good firmware update. All right, there we are. If you've enjoyed this one, remember to hit subscribe to support this channel, it's much appreciated.